our subject is analog and digital communication the difference between the analog and digital means analog we can call it as a continuous signal and digital we can call it as a discrete signal discrete is also called as discontinuous signal unit number one is amplitude modulation and demodulation in that lesson one is introduction to communication system these are the contents first is the introduction second is the elements of electronics communication system third is classification fourth is applications fifth is uh, what is analog communication and sixth is what is digital communication now the first we uh, discuss the introduction now introduction means communication means we are exchanging the information we are exchanging the ideas we are exchanging the thoughts so in short communication means transfer transferring the information it's called as the communication now communication in uh, previous last uh, 100 or 1000 of years the medium of communication is different and nowadays as the technology grows the communication the medium used for the communication is a different one communication the technical definition of communication is communication means exchanging information from one place to another it is what human beings do to convey their emotions their thoughts ideas and feelings to one another or communication is happening from the beginning of humankind most human humans communicated through the spoken words or with their gestures and postures which is called in a non verbal communication later written communication was developed previously we know uh, the battle at pavankhind in pavankhind and vishagad and shivaji maharaj is there so at that time when the shivaji maharaj reached to vishagad how how the the peoples at pavankhind knows that shivaji maharaj reached safely at vishagad so they are using a sound as a media medium they are using a sound as a medium if that particular sound sound is here then okay the shivaji maharaj is safely reached at the vishalagad so after that uh, so many uh, mediums are used we can use it using a smoke so that if some smoke is there then okay the we are uh, completed our task after that we are using uh, animals or birds we are using pigeon we are using uh, horses we are using elephants to send a message from one place to the another place and now after that the technology grows then we have a written communication we call it as a postal service and we have after postal service as a technology advancements are done we have now telephone is there first it is a fax system is there facsimile service we can say then we have a telecommunication and we have a mobile communication now everywhere there is a mobile now whenever we do con communication there are two basically two barriers the first barrier is a language barrier and second barrier is a distance barrier language barrier means when we move to the other state then that that state has their own language so we are not able to do our communication properly in that region in that state so it is called as a language barrier but we are going to focus on distance barrier because language is uh, not a technical distance is a technical so we focus on the distance communication through sending signal just i mentioned uh, they are using smoke they are using sound they are using pigeon or horse so first four are non technical means of communication and after that we have from six onwards first is the postal service then we have a telecommunication then we have a fax and now everywhere there is a mobile so this is a communication timeline the same fire is or smoke is shown 
then we have uh, animals like pigeon then we have a radio then we have a telephone and now everywhere there is a mobile so what next is the new advancement in the communication now whenever we are communicating there is general block diagram we can say elements of electronic communication system so in front of you most important elements required for communication are number one information source now whenever we are transferring the information it may be a text it may be a audio or it may be a video so we can call this as a information source information may be sound information may be picture information may be speech or information may be any data the second is a input transducer transducer is a device which will convert one type of signal or one type of energy into the another type of energy so just like example of a loudspeaker the loudspeaker the output is a audio signal but the input is a electrical signals so loudspeaker is called as a one type of transducer which will converts electrical signal into a sound signal just exactly opposite just like a loudspeaker it is a mic or microphone we can say microphone the input is a audio signal output is a electrical signal so also mic microphone is a one type of transducer where we convert audio signal into the electrical signal so that's why input to the transmitter is a information in electrical form from transmitter to receiver always we are going to use electrical signals transmitter means some circuitry is there in detail we are going to discuss this then we have a channel channel means it is a medium which connects transmitter as well as receiver so channel has two types wired and wireless so whenever we have uh, in our home there is a landline or telephone so it is a wired because a certain wire is connected from transmitter to the receiver so it is a wired and now from mobile to mobile communication we can call it as a wireless because both mobiles not physically connected with specific medium so channel has two types wired and wireless into that channel there is a possibility of noise so everyone knows whenever there is a noise is added into the system it will disturb it so we are not here properly when the noise is added into the channel so during the transmitter to receiver process if some noise is added then we are not getting the proper signal we can call it as a distort signal disturbed signal so noise is called as electrical disturbance added into the channel so noise noise has two types internal noise and external noise so in detail we are going to see this internal noise means the noise which is inside the system inside the circuit and external noise means it is outside the system it is outside the circuit next the signal is given to the receiver receiver will also exactly opposite of a transmitter and we are getting the signal to the output transducer and information in original form so this is the general block diagram or general information of communication system so up to this we see introduction then we have different signals smoke sound pigeon horse postal service telecommunication fax now everyone everywhere there is a mobile this is a timeline diagram of communication and these are the elements of electronic communication system so any communication system requires these blocks information source the original signal that we are going to transmit input trans transducer transmitter channel there is possibility of noise is added in the channel receiver output transducer and at output transducer trans transducer whatever we are transmitting same we are receiving across the receiver so this is the log diagram of elements of an electronic communication system